Hello from Gardening at Duenza here in Ireland and it's a very proud day for me because my bouffant is finally in flower. Now this is one of the prize items in my collection so I'm absolutely delighted that it's finally come into flower. And there she is in all her glory. Let's go in a bit closer and have a look. Now I had expected the bouffant to open into more of a ball, but this seems to be as big as she's going to get. And I do notice that some of the flowers are looking just a little bit tired, while others are quite fresh. This is made up, of course, of loads and loads of individual minute flowers that all come together in a ball-like appearance. Here we are standing above the bouffon where we can just see how those flowers present. Now imagine this in the desert somewhere in South Africa. Loads and loads and loads of them poking up out of the sand. No leaves, no nothing, just flower heads, these big, big flower heads. I think that would be really quite a sight to see. I've grown the bouffant quite a few years and in fact I made a, a video about it some time ago because this is a plant that is grown primarily for its leaves and the leaves are amazing. And at the moment there are no leaves visible because it goes dormant, loses its leaves and then flowers and that's exactly what's happened here. And at the end of this video I link to the other one I made about the bouffant. Now I was delighted to see that this plant has finally decided to flower for me. And I found it by accident this spring when I was cleaning up the greenhouse. And you can see the first glimpse of the bouffon in flower in that video I made about epiphyllum care. Although this, of course, has nothing to do with epiphyllum. But there we have the epiphyllum <laughs> right beside it. Now this is a very rare and unusual plant and I'm delighted to finally have it in flower. And it's one that I've experimented with growing from seed. So if we just have a look down here on the greenhouse shelves, you can see the bouffon that I have raised from seed myself. Those ones there, I've got six babies in total. And again, at the end of this video, I'll link to the video where I talk about germinating these seeds. Now their bouffon is in the Amaryllis family and all of the seeds in that particular family really need to be sown fresh, fresh, like immediately. So that really is the t trick to get having success. And the trick to getting it into flower like this, I really can't say. I mean, I guess maturity is required and the right kind of care. Now this has been in my cold greenhouse over winter and the cold greenhouse has a minimum temperature of 5 degrees in winter and it's done well like that. I think some people tend to mollycoddle it but I haven't and well I've been rewarded finally with flowers. Might, it, might I have been rewarded earlier sooner if I'd brought it into the house in winter? I really don't know but I'm pleased with all the same. Okay I'm going to stand up in this chair again and just give you a final view of the top of the flowers. There we go. I absolutely adore South African bulbs. They're my absolute favourite. And yeah, okay, of course it's a bonus that this flower is, it was bought for the leaves, but anyway, yeah, it's good. It's all good. Okay, well, this was just a short video to show you the bouffon in flower because I'm not sure it's going to last very long. But we found it, we got it, we got to see it, and I got to share it with you. So I hope I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, check back for lots more about bouffon and other plants in the greenhouse and all kinds of things. Thanks for watching. Bye.